guys. You know what? I'm going to do the spicy water on here so you can see it. And I'm going to make it real quick. I wish I knew how to turn off my notifications. Okay, cool. So it's working. Um, how do I increase this? Oh well. Alright, so this is what I use for the spicy water. <clears throat> this is the main ingredient. Hey, Fania, this is the main ingredient by Bragg. I have more because we go through it in my house. <laughs> um, so, and I always, I try not to use anything other than like plastic. I mean, you don't want to use plastic, in other words. You don't want to use plastic because you're going to be using some very strong ingredients. And if you're like me, um, even though I have like the ginger and the lemon for the spicy water, sometimes I tend to use my essential oil instead. But of course, these are ingestible. So... Um, you don't have to use both. You can just use, you know, either the fresh ingredients or you can use the essential oils, okay? And then um, I'll show you the other ingredients. I don't have, I wonder what happened to my pure maple syrup. I remember ordering it one day and it, I don't think it ever came. Hey, Marky, do I have pure maple syrup? Huh? I ordered it a long time ago. Do you want to use like some unprocessed honey? Um, this is, you know, okay if that's all you have. But really, you want some unprocessed, unpasteurized honey. And you're going to need about 16 ounces of water. So... Generally, I just put like water in from a water bottle, but, um, you know, use, use what you're accustomed to using, okay? So with the spicy water, I take apple cider vinegar with the mother, as you can see it says there, with the mother. You want that in there, okay? I love Bragg. We've been using Bragg in my family for ever since I can't remember. So I, I'm, I'm partial. I'm partial to brag. I don't use any other brand. So um, I tell people to use a certain amount of capfuls, you know. So I tell them they can put in like three or four, sometimes five capfuls. That's one, two. Darn it, I spilled some. Three. four and then five because I didn't fill up each cap full okay so um basically that's what you'll do I cannot oh oh man <laughs> my life is I got a visitor at the door okay I'll try to make it quick <laughs> so sweet guys so sweet oh my gosh i've been getting so much support since my father passed away and i just i'm in love with my dear friends there's nothing like having people who care about you genuinely you know and the the care packages have been amazing okay so that's about five caps of apple cider vinegar. And I do, I don't, 
I don't generally use much more than that. The other thing that's very important is the cayenne pepper. So I tell people to put about a pinch. So one eighth teaspoon is about a pinch. And I don't always fill it up. Some days I do, some days I don't. So this is how much I have in there. As you can see, it's not even full. All right. Um, I need to come up with some type of teeth whitener because this is my, <laughs> I put this in everything I take and it's having an effect on my teeth. But anyway, turmeric, you're also going to need a pinch of turmeric. And I'm real generous with the turmeric, as you can see. All right, turmeric fights inflammation. All of these ingredients fight inflammation. Inflammation is usually everybody's number one problem um, because of mucus. Mucus causes inflammation. All of this cuts through the mucus, okay? So your turmeric, your cayenne, your apple cider vinegar, I don't like my I don't like my tops sticky. I don't like them sticky at all. Okay. All right. So that's the apple cider vinegar. We've got the turmeric. We've got the um cayenne. Now you need a few slices of lemon. So you can I usually put like about two. So it's kind of, it's a little, it's kind of thin, but it's not really thin, you know. So you just squeeze that on in there. Spill the little ACV or apple cider vinegar. Whenever you hear me say ACV, I'm talking about apple cider vinegar. And I'm going to cut one more slice of the lemon. Nice, generous. Isn't that pretty? Hey, it makes me happy. It looks like the sun. Oh no, a, a drip of lemon just fell off. Okay, and then you can slice a little bit of um, ginger. Okay, so just cut some of the skin off. Some of the old ginger off the edge there. Right, and then, so, you know, just cut some of the edges off and then you'll be prepared to cut some of the ginger into your drink. Put some of that skin on. It smells good. Lemon and ginger. It's the best combination, you guys. All right, that's it. That's all I put in there. Just a small little, a small little um, scrape of ginger. Okay, and then, like I said, um, if you want to use the oils that you can ingest, then you can use, they have to be safe, they have to say nutrition facts, okay? You have to be able to have oils that clearly say on the bottle that they are safe to take in. If they don't say that they are safe to take internally, then they are not. <laughs> I don't want you to get that confused because you can really injure yourself with oils. I'm doing this double. You don't necessarily need the oil and the fresh ingredient, but that's what I'm choosing to use. So one little tiny drop of ginger. Okay. And then the lemon tends to fall out really fast, so you have to like really be fast with the flick of the wrist. All right, so that's one drop of lemon. I did both, you don't need both, you can use one or the other. And then, um, of course, you're gonna need about 16 ounces of water. So, but don't fill it all the way to the top because you wanna be able to shake it up first. So that's about halfway for now. Or no, it's not. Okay, so that's about half for now. And then because everything in here is bitter, 
you have to have this is an acquired taste but you can use the honey to you know sweeten it up so that you can stomach it okay when i give something like this to my children they call it lemonade they feel like it's lemonade um so they actually drink a variation of this not quite all of the ingredients but they do drink a variation of this so i would say about two tablespoons of lemon especially if you're not used to the taste okay this is spicy it's just like spicy lemonade it's exactly like having spicy lemonade with a kick because of the apple cider vinegar so i usually squeeze this for two counts of eight and then i know that that's two tablespoons Eight. All right. That's the end of that. Um, so I'm going to put my top on and I'm going to shake it all up. And it smells really good. All of this smells good. These ingredients are just so... I want you guys to pay attention to all the colors and, and know that all of this is going to change your body and your skin like really concentrate on that concentrate on what you're seeing there and know that that's what's going on inside your body the other thing like when you cut the little you know butt off the lemon or whatever i like to use that little bit of fruit the little bit of lemon bursts and clean with it clean my countertop with it just kind of like rub all the areas that need to be sanitized so but anyway so now that I have got that mixed in together I'm gonna pour in the rest of my water because like I said you needed space to shake it this is not quite a full 16 ounces or maybe it is Maybe this is 16 ounces because the bottle is 16.9 ounces and that's how much water is left after I have filled my container. So there you go. It's full now. And that, that's the spicy water. I want you to drink the spicy water every day. But people that, I, and this is why I don't give out the spicy water publicly. The reason I don't give it out publicly times where people with sensitive stomachs may have issues and if you do then please just you know try something like the aloe I tell people about drinking the aloe vera you know um, the other thing that I like I give people slippery elm I know I have slippery elm around here somewhere but anyway yeah just Things like that are going to help you seal whatever holes or patches you have in your leaky gut. Okay, because those are the things that make you feel a little pain with your um, with your food. You know, it causes indigestion, discomfort, all kinds of problems. But um, also, too, some people have a healing crisis or healing crisis symptoms. They may feel dizzy. And that could be because they're not getting enough water behind the spicy water. Everything in here, every ingredient with the exception of the lemon and the turmeric, everything is extremely bitter. I mean, um, spicy, right? So you've got the cayenne pepper and the ginger. That That's spicy. The apple cider vinegar, I, <laughs> it needs no description. So when it goes in there, it you know it's eating through anything inorganic in your body i hope i can download this video because i need to put it on youtube um not unless i do another one tomorrow but anyway um it eats through whatever is inorganic in your body so if you're wondering how does it lower your blood pressure or how does it help your blood pressure to raise if you have low blood pressure because it's cutting through all blockages anything that's blocking you 
from having a steady flow. Sorry, I guess there's somebody walking their dog. Um, anything that is inhibiting your metabolism is going to get squashed by means of this drink. So you're going to become healthier. You're going to notice a lot of differences. You're going to notice a lot of pains dissipate, dissipate, disappear. <laughs> um, you're going to notice your thinking is going to be clearer. You're going to have less brain fog and you're going to have more energy. Um, you'll have less occurrences of stiff joints and achy joints and anything arthritic all of that can be helped just by taking this on a daily basis you guys so please please drink the spicy water daily it's not something that you drink indefinitely day in day out um because it is very strong please please flush your your body with plenty of water the recommended daily amount of water that you need. You know, they say eight glasses, that's hogwash. <laughs> I say drink a minimum of a gallon a day because with all the um, toxins in our environment, that's what we need, okay? We, we're going to need that much water. So please um, monitor yourself. If you decide to drink this, um, let me know if you're having any type of reactions or anything like that so that I can kind of walk you through it. Um, if you're on high blood pressure medicine, know that this is going to lower your blood pressure. Just know that. Disclaimer, okay? I'm not claiming to be a doctor or anything of that nature, and I do strongly advise that you let your doctor know. That and it's going to change your numbers. Okay. Looks like my um it looks like my computer is skipping. Maybe I'm running out of storage. But anyway, I just want to give you guys that recipe and uh let me know how you do. Talk to you guys later. Okay, babe.